Mile High Workshop helps people get back on their feet and lead healthy, sustainable lives. And they call themselves Production with Purpose. Today we're going to learn more about their mission and how we can help. And with me today we've got founder and executive director Andy Magel and program participant Ashley. Andy and Ashley, welcome to COCO. We're so happy to be talking about Mile High Workshop today. And before we get into the story and really the way folks can help out, Ashley, we want to start with you. How did you get involved with Mile High Workshop? Um, I heard about Mile High Workshop through one of my counselors at um, the place that I was staying at. And um, she ran up to me and was like, Ashley, I have an awesome opportunity for you. I want you to really check this place out. Um, she printed out a flyer for me and um, I was able to call and set up an interview right away. Oh, awesome. And tell us a little bit about your background. What, what made this the right fit for you? I have been struggling looking for work um, for the last two years. Um, and Mile High Workshop was, um, they actually have a slogan that says rebuilding lives through jobs. And that was something that um, interested, interested me, excuse me, from the beginning. When you got there, I mean, talk to us a little bit about the community. How did it feel when you first started working and working on these bags? It was something different, something that I've never experienced before. The community here is so tight. Um, we have morning huddles every day and we discuss one of our values. Um, they're really big on extending grace here. And so we talk about one of the different um, acronyms every day. And so um, it just made me feel really welcome. I was anxious at first starting a new job. I haven't worked in over two years and um, I just felt extremely comfortable, extremely um, able to be myself and um, I, I absolutely just love it here. Everybody is um, open and honest yeah. with everything. It just lights my heart up seeing you speak about that. You just poured your heart out there, hearing that you're learning values each day and really incorporating it into that work. So that's the stuff that's going on person to person. What kind of physical work are you guys doing there? Um, right now I've been working on pillows. Um, I've never used a sewing machine before in my life and so it was a little bit intimidating. They're huge and they're, they look bulky, but once you get used to the machine that you're on, um, it's just a flow of things, you know. Um, I started off doing maybe like 15 pillows a day to doing over 80 pillows every single day. And, um, it's actually something that I'm really good at. I never thought I would be good at anything like that before. So we actually up cycle um, advertisement banners um, into totes, all-purpose bags. Yes, and Andy, we've had a chance to learn about what you guys are doing with these totes over at Mile High before, so why don't you give us the details about what you guys are producing with your awesome team? Yeah, absolutely. We have a campaign we're calling the Second Chance Series, and so we're, that's just like Ashley said, we're turning old marketing materials into new products, and so we've been working with lots of brands who've been donating their banner material to us, and then we're then selling those to help fund the program. That's been around for a while. You showed us some of the cool bags before, the different signs that are so recognizable. I understand you guys have a new series going that has to do with masks and going back to school. That's right. Yeah, it's a, it's a different back to school season, but some kids are going back in person. And so we are making kids face masks. We've been making them for adults for a little while, but we're making kids ones now. And we're doing some fundraising efforts to try to help support kids as they go back to school, make sure that them and the, the teachers can be safe. We love it. And we get to help you guys out at the same time if we purchase these masks. So how can we find the masks and the totes? Yeah, that's right. You can find it all on our website. It's milehighworkshop.org. Um, we've got the kids' masks. We also have adult masks. And yeah, every purchase not only protects the person who's getting the mask, but also helps fund the program. And tell us one more time, Andy, how do the businesses that donate the vinyl benefit? How does that interaction work? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, one, it keeps the materials out of the landfill where it often would end up. So we're able to repurpose it in that way. And then we're helping tell the story of those businesses and the support that they're giving to us. So we want to help them out in the same way that they're supporting us as well. Love it. Clear and simple. Well, yeah. Ashley, I have to end with you. I want to know if somebody out there is watching the show and they're thinking about maybe looking into working at Mile High, what would you say to them if they're nervous about making that first step? I think that every day that I walk in here um, is I'm learning something new. Um, I have learned so much since I've been here and um, I've just been made to feel so welcome, so comfortable here. Um, and I'm working for a bigger purpose. All the goals that I make every day go um, to something bigger and better. So I'm just thankful to be a part of all of that. Very well said. Ashley, thank you so much. Andy, keep up the great work. Thank you so much for having us. 
You can support Mile High Workshop by donating to the Mass Campaign or partnering with them. Just go to milehighworkshop.org to learn more. Purchase tote bags and masks online at secondchanceseries.com slash shop.